From the far reaches of the Milky Way galaxy, it's Retro Nerd Girl with a quick spoiler-free film review for you. Today, I'll be reviewing the movie Sliding Doors, released in 1998. Starring Gwyneth Paltrow, John Hanna, and John Lynch. Directed by Peter Howitt. The synopsis is, Helen's destiny may be completely changed as she splits into an alternative universe. We get to see which of the two lives turn out for the better. Poor Helen. She loses her job and her mooching boyfriend, Jerry, is cheating on her with his psycho ex-girlfriend from America. By the way, this is set in Great Britain. On the way home from getting fired, Helen splits her destiny, where Helen number one doesn't catch the train, and Helen number two catches the train. Her boyfriend Jerry isn't the sharpest tool in the shed, but he's cunning, which makes him a formidable challenge as he lies to Helen number one repeatedly. He actually convinces Helen number one that she should work two jobs to support his writing career while hers as a publicist suffers. She nearly discovers his lies so many times, but he manages to cleverly get out of it each time. You, you just want him to get caught. He's so slimy and just disgusting. What a, a vile creature. <laughs> What's also into play here is Jerry's side girlfriend, Lydia. And let me tell you, whew, <laughs> that Lydia is a piece of work. I almost thought the film was going to turn into a horror story channeling Fatal Attraction released in 1987. She is desperately trying to get Jerry back for good and she'll do anything to make it happen. I mean, anything. <laughs> In the other storyline, Helen number two catches the train and catches Jerry and Lydia in a very compromising situation, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Helen number two wisely moves out and starts a brand new life. At first you think that Helen number two has a better life and the film demonstrates that in a scene where they are at the same venue. Helen number one is working as a waitress to support Jerry and Helen number two is actually hosting an event. In each of the two dimensions she encounters different sets of problems and you really want to see her pull through. Although many unfortunate events happen to Helen, she is feisty, she fights back, and she's extremely classy about it too. Very graceful in the line of fire. And something I really want to point out is that the dialogue is very light and bouncy. And then it gets really serious when it needs to be. I just love the dialogue in this and I think that it's one of the strongest aspects of the film besides the performances. I thought that they pulled off the effect of displaying the two worlds great without actually having to do any intense special effects. Sometimes it was just a musical cue of pixie dust and, and that worked. Uh, when Helen misses the train she gets a cut on her forehead and that helps us to determine which Helen we're actually watching on screen. And then later they use a cute bob haircut to help us figure out the two. I thought it was ingenious because of its simplicity. The ending didn't go the way I thought it would, but somehow I was actually satisfied by it. But just be prepared to get a little teary-eyed. They really pull at the heartstrings. In my opinion, Gwyneth Paltrow is just excellent in this film. I've heard many British actors say that her accent is flawless, but I actually have no idea or context to know if that's true but to me it sounds really good and it really seemed to match her character in the film I'll just let you know that I'm not a romance comedy lover it's not my favorite kind of movie because I find them way too formulaic for my taste um, but this one is uh, you know very 
different for me. It actually has a little bit of a sci-fi twist there with the two different dimensions, which is, of course, you know, sci-fi is my favorite genre. And so um, I really love this movie. And although there were some really slow moving parts in the film, there were also some very juicy ones too. Like pretty much any of the scenes where uh, Jerry's almost about to get caught. Ooh, it's, it just kind of gets you all revved up and you're like, oh, please catch him. Uh, you, you, you just want her, you just want Helen number one to catch him in the act. You want him to get busted so bad. <laughs> uh, yeah, this is a very unique romantic comedy that actually makes you think a bit. You know, what if uh, you didn't catch the bus, the plane, the train at the exact time that you did? Would your life be completely different? Or would it be the same? And I feel like it stands apart from a lot of other rom coms uh, just for that little piece alone it it's it's um although it's not much of a gut busting comedy there isn't there's har hardly any laughs but it actually delivers a very thought provoking concept which is vastly entertaining to me my rating is an 8.6 well that sums up my quick spoiler free review this is Retro Nerd Girl signing off. Take care, movie lovers. I'm off to my next review.